YouTube. What's up, it's your boy 360 GZ. And as a barber, it's just certain things that we just do not like. I'm gonna tell you what it is, all right? It's your boy 360 GZ, stay tuned. I think the most important thing as a barber is when you wake up in the morning, you feeling fresh, you throwing your watch, you throwing whatever you need, you spray your cologne, you get into that shop, you got your liners hitting, they fresh, they nice, sprayed up, and the client walks in, gets his hair cut, you bar him, you feel like it's shop, and what he do? He don't even tip. So you just ain't gonna tip, huh? So, so you just gonna walk up out my chair and you just gonna leave, huh? So so next time we you 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 gonna expect that same treatment, huh? And I know, I know for a fact, I know for a fact. Uh, check me out on this one. You line your client up and you doing the best you can. All he worried about is trying to steal a peek in the mirror. Slowly turning this way, trying to steal a peek. You you steady keep bringing him back this way, but he's slowly making his way towards that mirror, and you just wanna just snap <gasps> and put that line in and have him done and then send your way on. You wanna look now? Go ahead. And what about the kids? Oh remember the kids. Kids that have you stressed out? I don't know why they charge less for kids. The kids is the one that'll stress you out. First of all, you get the kids in here. They bad as heck. They don't want to stay still. They just sitting here sponge bobbing on you. Bringing it around town. Bring it around town. They're sitting here doing all this while you're trying to find them up. You know what? I have respect for the moms and dads that come through the shop and stand right there as a son getting a haircut. Because that means, okay, you under control. You got it under control. You got yourself, I got me. You looking at me, I'm looking at you. We're doing it here. But you're keeping your son in check here. You're keeping the person that's doing their hair in check. You sitting here, ain't there, Billy? All right, now you stop that and let the man cut your hair. I give you kudos and high fives all the time for that. All the time. But what about the moms and dads that just goes over there and drop their kids off and then leave? Ah, they leave. They leave. They just go. They think that well, I'm a daycare. They will, whoa, yeah, barbershop. Yeah, it's daycare. No. All right, no. No, I don't believe that. All right, stay by your kid. If they're bad, if you know your kid is bad, Stay by them, all right? So I won't have to manhandle their head and put it in the right direction, because I'll do it, all right? Jeezy love the kids. Jeezy don't like to be stressed out. No, no, no. You know you got them kids still. You still got them kids out there that'll fake way act like your liners hurt. You know what I'm saying? You go to test your liners to see if it's you. You know what I'm saying? Am I bleeding? Does these hurt? These are the kid liners I'm using. I don't, I don't see no blood. You know what I'm saying? What the boy itching for? What he mean? What he, what, he, what he keep pulling back for? Parents, you need to take your kids to the barbershop more often. Stop letting your boy go out wide. Train the boy so that the way he come in the barbershop, he know to stay still. Just like A, B, C, D, E, F, D. Your boy got to learn that. He got to learn. Just like everything else. So come on, bring him in weekly. I need to see him on next week. Bring him on in. We gonna figure this thing out, but we gonna train him, all right? So where we can, we have an agreement that we gonna stay still this time. And then you just got your talking clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ain't nothing wrong with a talking client now. Hold on now. Ain't nothing wrong with a talking client. You keep your conversation going. It's nice, it's flowing. You keep your client consultation up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wrapping it up and having it a good time. But what about the ones where they breath just smell like, woo! You might want to cut that conversation a little short. I'm going to be honest with you. But then you get the clients that don't let up. You just won't let up, huh? You just ain't going to cut that conversation up. That's what I did. That's why I dig in my pocket. Pull out that winter fresh, put it in my mouth first. And hey, bruh, you want one? Huh? Bruh. You know, you know, you know you can do Take that, you're gonna need that though now. You're gonna need that. Right. Then you 
got some clients that come in. It's good. They start off right. Everything is good. They ask for a simple haircut. Oh, just give me a taper. You know, they're looking through their phone. They're scrolling through their phones. You give them that nice little blend that you give. They tighten them up around the edges. You doing your thing. All barbers feel like they doing their thing. Let's be honest. We do our thing. So we doing our thing. He look at it after we done. Hey, bruh, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't what I was looking for, but, but can you give me a burst mohawk, bruh? You gon' disrespect me by having me do all this and come to find out you want something else, bruh? Oh yeah, that's gonna be another haircut, bruh. It's just simply gonna be another haircut and I'm gonna charge you another haircut price, bruh. You can't expect me to just take this. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got people waiting, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I got, ah, come on now. You feel me? What about the clients that come in, get their hair cut, and try to look in the mirror to find something wrong with you? Bruh, bruh, I, I, bruh, bruh, I think you got me right here, bruh. I, 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 I really feel like you got me, bruh. Is, is it me or is, it, is that line crooked? Is it just me? No, it's you. It's you, bruh. Ever, ever had the ones that really just do it just so they don't tip? You know what I'm saying? Hey, bruh, I think you got me in the back right here, bruh. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's all right, bruh. I mean, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's Cool, it's cool, alright, bruh. And try to act like they all sad about it. Boy, get your butt out the chair. What? Stop. What you talking about? <sighs> but let me, let me, let me step away from the clients real quick and talk about you cocky barbers out there. Cocky barbers out there want to charge extra. Everybody want to charge extra. I'm going up on my prices. I'm going up. But when is the last time you actually bought some clippers? When is the last time? You tried to sit down and watch YouTube and perfect your crap? When is the last time you've been to a hair show or something? You still over here doing stuff in the 90s. Over here giving them box cuts and stuff. You still doing that? Come on, bruh. You still doing the skinny mohawk? Where they do that? You still give that line in the back? You, you, y'all you, still doing that? But y'all want to charge extra though. I want to charge extra. Everybody else, you won't. Pay me, pay me. All right, this is how you know if you're a good barber. If you scroll down your timeline on your Instagram or whatever portfolio that you have, you scroll all the way down and you look at your cuts like, ah, oh, it's weak. That means, chances are, you done got that. If you scroll down and you scrolling down and you really get to that bottom pick, that first pick you ever did, and you be like, dog, that was raw. I'm still the best. I am it. I am the man. Pay me extra. I don't know why I ain't charging more. You ain't got no better. How you expect me to give you an extra $30 or something? And you ain't, you, you ain't even got no better. You still cut me like you did two years ago, bruh. Come on, come on, bruh. I ain't with it. Back to the clients. Last one, and this is probably the ultimate. It, this probably tips the top on the cake here. You get the clients that come in and they just nitpick at every single thing. Bro, you see that hair right here, right here where, and you get that key. The corner right here, it ain't as sharp as this corner right here. It just don't get yeah, from my ones at my line. It just ain't even. It ain't even right here. It ain't even. Yeah, yeah, even that up. Yeah. You see the taper on this side? Really don't match the taper on this side. You see how it's different? You see how it's different? You see the back? The back? The back is cool though. The back is cool though, but it's see, right here. Right here. Yeah, I got yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, can you get behind my ear though? Right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nah, bruh. Nah. Can, 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 can you, can you get up? Can you get up and get out the seat? Thank you. Next. It's stressful being a barber, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. But I love what I do, and I wouldn't really change nothing. Even the, even, 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 even the picky clients. I wouldn't change it. Cause at the end of the day, you gonna give me my money. It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm about to here. Cheers.